So what is up everyone? This is Kieran here. Welcome back to Tech Kieran YouTube channel. If you're using Redmi Note 9S global device or Redmi Note 9 Pro Cortana, a global device, you already got the finally official update based on MIUI 12, not actually MIUI 12.5, MIUI 12 based Android version 11 update. Now officially available for these devices, a global device of Redmi Note 9 S or you can say Redmi Note 9 Pro. If you have a device Redmi Note 9 Pro, which is Cortana, which is a global device where we have RJWMIXM. This one is a based on Android version 11 update for the Redmi Note 9 Pro users. I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 S. Right now it's not actually an OTA update. It's just a recovery room. So if you have an unlocked bootloader, a custom recovery installed, you can install this latest Mi 12.0.1 global stable update based on Android version 11. I'm gonna share with you some things about this first update based on Android version 11 for the Redmi Note 9 Pro users. Let's get started. So guys, this is the latest and first update based on MIUI 12.0.1.0 stable version, which is based on Android version 11. It's officially Android version 11. It's not a ported ROM. It's not a ported ROM or whatever else. You you will get the OTA update very soon. But right now we have only the recovery ROM update available. The link for all of those things in the description. You can see our MIUI version is 12.0.1.0 R J W M I X M R, which means Android version 11. J W device code. Am I global XM unlocked? You all know about these kind of stuff, meaning the latest January security patch is also there. Going for the all specs, yes, it's based on version 11. Other things are same here, everything is same here. This one is the official one. So, if you're looking for this thing, with what is the difference between this global stable and the India stable? If you're a Redmi Note 9 Pro user, Indian user, or if you're using Redmi Note 9 Pro Cortana India device, you already got the India stable update based on Android version 11. But the global users now finally got the Android version 11. What is the main difference between India stable and the global stable? Let's find out. First of all, as you can see, Google. Google messages and Google phone or you can say other Google apps are available here. Some Google apps you already get in India stable also but in this Redmi Note 9 Pro global device you have the Google phone and Google messages app as a default app. It does not contain the MIUI dialer and MIUI contacts MIUI messaging app. So this might be a little bit of different thing for the global users. Global users already know this kind of stuff here. If you're looking for some things which you get here, as it's not a ported room, it's not a custom room, it's official one. So things you get here are same here, nothing to change, nothing to talk about. Yes, it has a default launcher and default launcher also has some cool kind of features. Let me show you by going into settings and let's talk about the features. First of all, let me show you the camera. If the camera UI is changed here, I just installed this on my device. So let's try out some camera things. We have all those options while using this time and only this time I just enable the while using the app we have the same kind of UI photo mode portrait mode and if you go for the more option you don't get the new UI but time lapse documents option is available right now and this is a very cool kind of feature where you can adjust original black and white or enhanced feature we have the option to show the ratios straighten settings macro Things are same here, looking quite good here, customize and some little bit of things. If I look at some little bit of features are missing from here, I've tried some custom rooms, some features are not available there. Customize has the camera modes, we are going to adjust the more tab or more panel, looks quite good and interesting one. Talking about the full screen gestures. If you're looking for full screen gestures, here we have 1.4 GB of RAM free from 4 GB. I am using the 4 GB RAM variant. So 1.4 GB, so normal kind of RAM usage. Google phone and Google message apps are pre-installed. I already shown you other things are same here. Volatile, Wi-Fi, etc. We have the cat controls options available. I would not recommend you to try. I didn't try it yet, but maybe this might have a bug because the same kind of thing was available in the Redmi Note 9 Pro Indian devices or Indian for Indian users based on Android version 11 update has the same kind of issues. Control center is the new one. We already know that this one is on Android 11 based update. So yes, you might expect this. Looking for some things which you get here about phone when 12.0.1 global stable and connection and sharing, lock screen have same kind of things. Lock screen does not include any kind of things, but if you have the display, yes, we have the new display and which means 
light mode, dark mode, yes a new kind of options are available, brightness level, reading mode, other things are same here, you don't get any kind of options for other things, if you are looking for, let me show you some things about here, sound and vibration, also have the new sound assistant, which is a very good kind of feature for the Android 11 based devices, now Redmi Note 9 S or you can say Redmi Note 9 Pro finally got this Android 11 based update, so yes it was expected, silent mode, silence media and silent mode, and if you go for the do not disturb mode, we have this kind of new menu for do not disturb mode this is not available for the redmi note 9 pro india users it has little bit of different ui than this one in the indian indian devices or you can say indian update but in this one we have little bit of extra things additional settings also include some little bit of stuff related to these kind of things other things are same here notifications and control center notification shade only have the customizations of miui or android or you can customize the notification style only will not be able to expand the top notifications so this might be a feature which is missing from here control center style which you can simply adjust to old version or the new version it's up to you whatever you want to on your device smart home as i previously told you it's up to you don't use this android or easter egg or you will face a reboot there not actually reboot but this will stuck there then you need to force reboot your device i haven't tried it in this build but in the indian stable it is a bug so let me just skip it once we have notification icons connection speed percentage and some little bit of stuff here new kind of ui as, as you can say home screen also have a new kind of option system navigation where you can simply switch between the buttons and gestures without any issues this seems to be really interesting kind of menu option hide full screen indicator and gesturing information still don't get the swipe up for the google assistant which is kind of a thing which you get in xiaomi u but not in this one Google discover you don't get the app fault here by default as you can see if you can see swipe right you will see Google discover option but not the app vault as it's a global stable so this might be the thing home screen layout and we have only 4x6 and 5x6 and it lasts the whole range items in the recents this is a very interesting thing vertical or horizontal you can simply switch between it as you can see i previously already shown you this kind of thing it also have this blur kind of option already available this looks really interesting looking for the power menu there is no nothing change in the power menu unfortunately the same kind of power menu which you get here sorry for the volume panel actually and the power menu is also kind of the same so both of the things are same here no extra changes in that volume panel but you might get in miui 12.5 that's why because this is just an android 11 update you can say it's kind of a proprietary update before android version before miui 12.5 because miui 12.5 is coming maybe just in a week or so so this seems to be a really interesting one password and security privacy protection battery and performance and some a little bit of stuff all those things i've already shown you these are some major things about this update these were the things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this this is all thanks for watching and goodbye